Next, we have the following step-by-step -step procedure on how to compute for the reactions of statically determinate structures. So, this is for statically determinate structures. First is, we will draw the free body diagram or yung tinatawag nating FBD by disconnecting all the members from each other and also the support. So, paghihiwahiwalayin natin yung mga members from each other. And then, we will uh, show each known force or yung mga applied forces natin. So, ire-reflect natin uh, sa bawat members yung mga applied force or yung mga known force natin that is acting on them. And then next, uh, we will show the orientation of the mutually perpendicular X and Y coordinate system. So, dito sa letter C na to, we will have an orientation na gagamitin natin sa buong klase. So, for our X direction, lahat ng forces that is acting to the right will be positive. And all the forces that is acting to the left will be our negative. And then for Y direction, lahat ng upward forces will be positive. And then lahat ng downward forces will be negative. And then sa ating moment, lahat ng clockwise direction will be our positive moment. And then for counterclockwise direction, it will be our negative moment. So, ito yung orientation na gagamitin natin for the whole class. Okay? Ito yung ating general orientation. So, take note of this one. And I know this is not new to you anymore, tung orientation na ta, because we are using this um, since then. And next, at each point where the structure has been detached from a support, show the unknown external reactions being exerted on the structure. So, the reaction forces are represented on the FBD by arrows in the known directions of their lines of actions. Ayan, so, basahan nyo na lang dyan. Ibig sabihin lang nito is at the supports or for the unknown external reactions, we will assume directions of forces. So, we will assume direction of forces sa ating support. So, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina that we will use our um, general orientation for the uh, directions ng positive and negative. And to complete the FBD, huwag niyong kalimutang maglagay ng mga dimensions on each member. Next, uh, you will check the static determinacy of the structure. Ano yung ulit yung equation natin for static determinacy? Dapat, yung ating reaction is equal to 3 plus the equations of conditions. So, dapat equal yan para masabi natin na it is static determinate or statically determinate. If the structure is either statically or geometrically unstable or indeterminate externally, then end the analysis at this stage. Okay? Pag statically or geometrically unstable na siya, then end the analysis. Do not proceed to the next step anymore. So, dapat satisfy niya tong condition na to. That R is equal to 3 plus EC. For the next step, uh, we will determine the unknown reactions by applying the equations of equilibrium and condition kung meron mang itong internal hinge or internal roller. So, to avoid solving simultaneous equations, write the equilibrium and condition equation so that each equation involves only one unknown. Pero may mga instances na nagkakaroon tayo ng two unknowns. But uh, don't worry because we can solve the equation simultaneously. So, we will uh, having a series of equations and then masasolve natin simultaneously yung mga unknowns. And remember that the internal forces acting on the adjacent portion of a structure must have the same magnitudes but opposite sense in accordance with our Newton's third law. So, ito yung sinasabi ko on the first part of this discussion. So, for example, meron tayo ditong beam and then meron siyang internal uh, roller, for example. So, this one is internal roller. So, meron tayong A, B, and C. So, paano natin makukuha yung um, reactions dito sa B? So, yan. Paghiwalayin natin yung A, B, and B, C. So, meron reactions dito, di ba? Ayan, may reactions. And of course, this, this is a roller. Meron din reaction dito. So, for example, nakuha natin yung value ng ating uh, B vertical. Ililipat natin siya ngayon dito sa ating BC. But, uh, yung ating BB now will be in negative 
direction but same in uh, magnitude so the structure must have the same magnitudes but opposite in direction so kung positive ang nakuha mo dito upward gawin mo lang siya dito sa kabila as downward so ayun next for our fourth uh, step apply an alternative equilibrium equation that has not been used before to the entire structure to check for the computation this alternative equation must preferably involve the reactions that we're determining in the analysis. You may use a moment equilibrium equation involving the summation of moments about a point that does not lie on lines of actions of reaction forces for this purpose. If the analysis has been carried out correctly, then this alternative equation must be satisfied. So, para mas maintindihan nyo, this four step on how to solve for the uh, reactions of statically determined structures, let us proceed to our examples. Determine the reactions at the support of the beam shown. So we have here a cantilever beam that is 14 meters in length and it is loaded with 160 kilonewton and a uniform distributed load of 15 kilonewton per meter in a 6 meter length and in the free end it has 400 kilonewton meter moment. So the first thing to do is to draw the free body diagram so since this is fixed meron tayo ditong moment so let us assume that the direction of the moment is counterclockwise direction so moment at B and then the vertical force BY and of course the horizontal force BX and this is 160 kilonewton and the uniform distributed load 15 kilonewton per meter and the moment and so this is the beam huh So let's take the summation of forces of so vertical is equal to zero, upward positive. So we have minus 15 kilonewton per meter multiplied by 6 meters minus 160 kilonewton plus by is equal to zero. Therefore, the vertical force at B is equal to 250 kilonewton. So the assumption of vertical direction is correct. Next, taking the summation of forces horizontal is equal to zero. Right direction as the positive. So wala tayong makikita ang ibang um, x direction maliban dito sa bx. Therefore, our bx is equal to zero. And then taking the summation of moment at b is equal to 0 clockwise as our positive. So, we have negative MB dito tayo plus 400 kilonewton meter minus our 15 kilonewton per meter multiplied with 6 meters moment arm is 3 plus 4 plus 4 so 3 plus 4 plus 4 meters minus 160 kilonewton moment arm is 4 meters is equal to 0 therefore the moment at B is equal to so it is equal to negative 1230 kilonewton meter so, negative yung direction natin. So, mali yung direction. Therefore, 1,230 kN that meter clockwise. Okay. So, this is the values for the moment at B, the horizontal force at B, and the vertical force 
at B. Next, determine the reactions of the supports of the frame shown. Next, determine the reactions at the supports of the frame shown. So we have here our frame. And then, kagaya ng nauna nating example, we will draw the free body diagram. So, dito na lang tayo. So, since this is a hinge, therefore, meron siyang vertical force. Let's see, AY. Meron din siyang horizontal, AX. And then this one, a roller lang siya. So, we have our dy. So, let's take the summation of moment at A. It's equal to 0 and then clockwise as the positive. So, dito tayo magsisimula. We have negative dy multiplied by 3.6 meters. And then this one. So, negative. So, minus 67 kilonewton multiplied by, so, ano yung moment arm? 1.8 or let's say 5.4 minus 1.8. So, we have 5.4 minus 1.8 meters. 67. And then, this one, dito tayo. Therefore, we have a plus. Plus 22 kilonewton per meter. Length niya is 3.6 plus 1.8 meter. And then the moment arm, ilan yung moment arm? Kalahati nitong 3.6 plus 1.8. So 3.6 plus 1.8 is 5.4. So we have 5.4 divided by 2 meters. And then this one, Ito sa triangular loading. So, we have plus 1 half. So, area nyan is 1 half of 37 kilonewton per meter multiplied by length nya is 5.4 5.4 meters. Moment arm. So, dito yung moment arm natin. Dito tayo magbibase. Therefore, we have 1 third. 1 third of 5.4 meters is equal to 0. Therefore, dy is equal to so computing the value of dy therefore we have 72.05 kilonewton. So, positive yung nakuha nating value therefore tama yung assumption natin. So, this is the value of the vertical loading. Next, Taking the summation of forces along vertical is equal to zero, so upward positive. So, meron tayong AY plus DY or yung 72.05 natin. So, the value of DY is 72.05 kilonewton. And then, yung uniform distributed load natin. So, we have minus 22 kilonewton per meter. And then, the length is 5.4 meters. It's equal to 0. Therefore, AY is equal to 46.75 kilonewton. And, tama ulit yung ating assumption. Positive. So, Upward. So, this is the value of our AY. Then, let's take the summation of forces along horizontal. Para makuha natin yung value ng AX. So, 
So, right direction is positive. Therefore, we have negative AX. And then this one, plus 1 half of 37 kilonewton per meter. Then the length of 5.4 meters. And then meron pa tayo dito. So, minus 67 kilonewton is equal to 0. Therefore, AX is equal to So, it is equal to 32.9 kilonewton. So, positive meaning tama yung ating direction. So, tama yung assumption ng ating direction that AX is directed to the left. For our next example, we have here a gable frame that is subjected to a wind loading as shown. So, determine the reactions at its support due to the loading. So, for our first step, kailangan muna natin i-determine if it is statically uh, determinate. We have our equations, R and then 3 plus AC. So, yung R natin is the number of unknown reactions. So, we have here, hinge itong part na to. So, it has two unknowns and then same this one. We have two unknowns. Therefore, the number of unknowns will be 4. And then, ilan yung equations of conditions natin? We only have one internal hinge. Therefore, isa lang yung ating equations of condition. So, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Ayan. Therefore, R is equal to 3 plus EC. Therefore, it is statically determinate externally. Ayan. So, we can now proceed to our next step. Our next step here is to um, convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load para mas madali. So, we have here, sabihin nating R1. So, yung R1 natin, meron yung X and Y component na papangalanan natin R1X and then R1Y. So, for our R1, we have 0 0.75 kilonewton per meter and then uh, unknown pala yung distance ng ating B and C. So, determine muna natin yung distance ng B and C by having, so lagay ko na lang dito, so BC is equal to CD na yan. It's equal to square root of 2.5 squared plus height nito is 2 meters. Therefore, it is equal to, so it is equal to 3.2 meters. 3.2 meters yung ating BC. So, dito, 3.2 meters. Therefore, R1, point load natin doon, would be equal to 2.4 uh, kilonewton. And then, for the X and Y component, we have here R1X. So, 2.4 kilonewton. We multiply natin siya sa, ito sa slope, we have here... 2.5 and then 2 meters and this one is 3.2 so we have uh, 2.5 all over 3.2 so it is equal to 1.875 so we have 1.875 kilonewton and for our R1Y meron tayong 2.4 kilonewton Multiply natin siya sa 2 all over 3.2. Therefore, it is equal to 1.5 kilonewton. So, kindly check uh, your module. Parang merong uh, some corrections there regarding sa slope. So, ito na yung sundan ninyo. So, for R1Y, meron tayong 1.5. And for our R1X, meron tayong 1.875. So, same through with our... Uh, Loading here. So, convert natin itong uniformly distributed load into a point load. Pero directed siya dito. Okay. So, pangalan natin siyang R2. And then, meron siyang X and Y component din. Kagaya nung nauna. So, sorry, R2X. Ayan. So, for our R2, this is equal to... Uh, sorry, ilan to? So, this is... 3.3 kilonewton. 
So, we have 3.3 kilonewton per meter. Multiply natin siya sa distance, which is 3.2 uh, meters. So, 3.3 times 3.2. Therefore, we have 10.56 kilonewton. And then, for our X component, 10.56 kilonewton. Multiply natin siya sa ito yung slope niya. So, we have here 2.5 and then 2. So, 2.5 all over 3.2. So, 10.56 multiplied by 2.5 all over 3.2. So, we have 8.25 kilonewton. And then, for the Y component is equal to 10.56 kilonewton. Multiply natin siya sa 2 all over 3.2. So, it is equal to 6.6 .6 kilonewton. Ayan. Next, so since our support at A is a hinge and also with D, e, meron tayong a vertical and horizontal. So, we will assume that we have our a vertical directions here upward and then dito sa ating AX to the left. And dito sa ating E, we have EX. So, assumptions lang muna itong mga to, itong mga directions niya. May kita natin mamaya kung tama ba yung ating orientation or yung ating assumption. So first, we will take the summation of moment at E. So taking the summation of moment at E is equal to 0. Therefore, we have AY, moment arm is 5 meters, plus 3.75 kilonewton per meter length niya is 4 meters ilan yung moment arm? 2 meters have 2 meters and then uh, plus dito ulit tayo so 2.4 kilonewton per meter length niya is 4 meters moment arm is also 2 meters ne next we have the x component for our R1 so 1.875 kilonewton so, the moment arm is 4 plus half liter is 1. So, we have uh, 5 meters plus yung ating Y component. So, I mean it is negative. So, negative 1.5 kasi counterclockwise. So, we have 1.5 kilonewton. Moment arm is 2.5 and then half ng 2.5. So, we have 2.5 plus 1.25. So, we have 3.75 meters. And then, dito naman tayo sa R2. So, sa X component, we have 8.25. Moment arm is 5 meters. And, and then, for the Y component, we have plus 6.6 kilonewton. Moment arm is 2.5 divided by 2, which is equal to 1.25 meters. It's equal to 0. Therefore, our AY is equal to negative 20.49 kilonewton. Therefore, mali yung assumptions natin that, that AY is directed upward. So, AY now is equal to, baguhin na natin yung orientations, 2.49 kilonewton downward. So, ayan yung ating uh, vertical force on our A. Next, uh, we will take the summation of forces uh, vertical is equal to 0 upward as positive. So, we have AY negative 20.49 kilonewton plus our EY minus yung ating R1Y so 1.5 kilonewton and then plus yung ating R2Y which is equal to 6.6 .6 kilonewton. It is equal to 0. Therefore, uh, the vertical force at E would now be equal to 15.39 so kN. So, 15.39 kN. Meaning, tama yung ating assumptions na pataas. Okay? So, ito yung ating EY, AY. So, what uh, are we looking for for the reactions? So, we have here EY. And then, our AY. So, meron pa tayong dalawang reactions na hinahanap. 
Next, i-determine na natin ngayon yung ating unknown AX and then EX. So, ang gagawin natin dyan is to dissect the um, structure into two sa kanyang internal hinge. So, drawing ko lang dito. So, we have our A1 uh, or AY, I should say. So, our AY is 20.49 downward. So, double check lang natin. Yes, it is a uh, 20.49 kilonewton. And then, yung assumption natin for AX is to the left. And we have our uniformly distributed load here that is equal to 3.75 kilonewton per meter. And then, meron tayo ditong 1.5 and then 1.875. So, dito yung internal hinge natin. So, we will assume directions for our x and y also. So, sabihin natin this is cx and then this is our cy. Then, of course, huwag natin kalimutan yung ating dimensions. So, this is 4 meters and then 2 meters. Then, we have 2.5 meters. So, let's take the summation of moment at c para makuha natin yung value ng ating ax. So, taking the summation of moment at c is equal to 0 clockwise positive. So, we have ax multiplied by a 4 plus 2, so 6 meters. Then, our AY minus 20.49 moment arm is 2.5. Uniform distributed load minus 3.75. Uh, length niya is 4 meters. Moment arm is 2 plus 2. And then, dito naman, so we have negative 1.5 875, moment arm is 1 meter. Then, yung isa, minus 1.5, moment arm is uh, 1.25 meters. It's equal to si Rod. So, AX is equal to 19.1625. Uh, so, 19.1625 kilonewton. So, our assumption is correct. So, papunta siya sa left. Next, uh, yung natitira is yung EX natin. So, we can take the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0 to the right positive. So, yung ating AX, we have negative 19.1625 plus EX. And then, yung ating uniform distributed load. So, plus 3.75 multiplied by the length of 4 meters. Same through with 2.4. So, 2.4 multiplied by 4 meters. And then, yung ating R1X na 1.875. And then, yung ating R2X na 8.25 is equal to 0. Therefore, EX is equal to 6 is equal to negative 15.5625 kilonewton, meaning our assumption is wrong. So, EX is equal to 15.5625 and it is acting to the left. Ayan. So, this is our value of our EX. So, we already completed the four unknowns. Meron na tayong EX, EY, and AX, and then AY. For our last example, we have here determined the reactions at the supports of the given structure. So, kanina, meron tayong internal hinge. Dito naman sa example na to, we will be encountering internal roller. So, bago yan, check muna natin kung statically determinate ba siya. So, we have the number of reactions here. We have here two. And then this one, this is fixed. So, meron tayo ditong tatlo. So, the reactions is equal to five. And then, yung ating 3 plus our EC. So, ilan yung magiging equations of conditions natin? So, we have internal roller. Therefore, meron tayong dalawang uh, equations of conditions. Therefore, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, R is equal to 3 plus EC. 
Therefore, uh, the structure is statically determinate. Therefore, we can now proceed uh, to the next step. So, statically determinate siya. So, the, for this one, I assume natin that it has um, <clears throat> So, for the free body diagram of this one, we assume natin that uh, it has an upward direction of AY and then to the right yung kanyang AX. And same through with this one, we assume natin dito na we have VX and then yung ating BY. We have a moment. So, assumptions natin yung mga directions. So, ang una natin gagawin dito is to isolate yung ating member AC. So, isolate natin siya from BC. So, this is AY. AX. And then, we have an assumption na yung ating CY is upward. Assumption, CY is upward. And then, don't forget the applied uh, reaction or the applied force. 130 kilonewton. And then, of course, the distance. So, this is 3 meters, 3 meters. And then, yung slope ng ating force pala is uh, 5, 12, 13. So, we have here 5, 12, and then 13. So, we will take the summation of moment at C. So, taking the summation of moment at C is equal to 0. Therefore, we have a Y, moment arm of 6 meters. Ayan. And then, meron tayong uh, reactions dito na vertical so, 130, 12, all over 13 dito. So, minus 130, 12, all over 13. And dito naman, so ilagay ko na lang kahit hindi natin siya magamit at this part. So, we have here 130 and then 5 all over 13. So, yun yung uh, X component niya. Then, wag kakalimutan pala yung moment arm. So, yung moment arm is 3 meters. So, ulitin ko lang, kinuha natin yung uh, Y component ng 130 kN by multiplying it by the slope of 12 all over 13 and then yung kanyang moment arm na 3 meters. So, it is equal to 0. Therefore, AY is equal to 0. So, AY is equal to 60 kN. So, positive Therefore, our assumption is correct. So, that is the value of our AY. Next, we will take uh, the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0. All right directions are positive. So, we have AX and then this one minus 130, 5 all over 13 is equal to 0. Therefore, AX is equal to So, it is equal to 50 kN. So, tama ulit yung ating assumption. So, 50 kN to the right. So, ito yung ating AX. And then, makukuha na natin yung um, value ng ating CY by taking the summation of forces of vertical is equal to 0 upward as our positive. So, we have CY plus yung ating AY na 60 kN minus this one yung Y component ng ating applied force which is 130 multiplied by 12 all over 13 is equal to 0. Therefore, CY is equal to 0. CY is also equal to 60 kilonewton. So, 60 kilonewton. So, let's say CY uh, using member AC is equal to 60 kilonewton upward. Pero pag ililipat na natin siya sa ating member BC, magiging negative na yan. Okay? Magiging downward directions na yan. So, ito yung sinasabi natin kanina that in the internal hinges or internal uh, support, 
the magnitude is the same but the directions are opposite. Okay, so let us proceed to our member BC. So for our member BC, so same procedure yung gagawin natin, i-isolate natin siya from member AC and then i-drawing natin yung kanyang FBT. So yung assumptions natin kanina, we have here BX, BY, and then yung kanyang moment. And for our CY, kanina in member AC, it is equal to 60 kN upward. And ngayon, pag ililipat na natin siya sa member uh, BC, magiging 60 kN downward na. So this would be 60 kN pababa. And then, huwag natin kakalimutan yung applied force na uniformly distributed load of 12 kN per meter at the length of 10 meters. This one is 3 meters. So, we are now ready to determine the summation of moment. So, magma-moment tayo sa ating uh, B. So, it is equal to 0, clockwise as positive. So, we have negative 60 moment arm is 13 meters minus 12 the length of 10 meters moment arm is 5 meters plus uh, sorry minus yung assumptions pala natin is counterclockwise so minus mb is equal to 0 therefore the moment at b would now be equal to So, it is equal to negative 1,380 kilonewton dot meter. Meaning, mali yung assumptions natin. So, dapat pala, it is clockwise direction. So, it's okay na mali lang yung assumptions natin. Baguhin na lang natin dito. So, this is the moment at B. 1,380 kilonewton dot meter clockwise. And then, let's take the summation of forces vertical. Uh, is equal to zero upward as positive so we have negative 60 kilonewton minus 12 kilonewton per meter multiplied by 10 meters plus by is equal to zero therefore the vertical force at b would now be equal to so it is equal to 180 kilonewton so, tama ulit yung assumptions natin at this part. So, upward. So, BY is equal to 180 kilonewton. So, ano lang yung natitira? The value of our BX. So, taking the summation of forces, horizontal is equal to 0. To the right, ang ating positive. So, we have BX. So, yung BX lang yung uh, horizontal force natin. And there is no other force acting on our member BC. So, BX is equal to 0. Ayan. So, that's all. Ito na yung ating values ng ating uh, fixed support. Meron na tayong moment at B, BX, and then our BY.